5 p.m. recap. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. Today is Saturday, April 3, 2021. Fox Report. Iowa Governor signs constitutional carry bill that removes permit requirements for handguns. Iowa Gov. Kim Reynolds signed into law Friday a law that loosens regulations on gun ownership by eliminating the need for a permit to buy or carry handguns in the state. The new law takes effect July 1, with many calling it a constitutional carry bill. Today I signed legislation protecting the Second Amendment rights of Iowa's law-abiding citizens while still preventing the sale of firearms to criminals and other dangerous individuals, Reynolds said in a statement Friday afternoon. CNN Report Traumatizing details of George Floyd's death were shown in court. Experts weigh in on who should, and shouldn't, see them. Months after the killing of George Floyd sparked nationwide protests. Additional videos of the agonizing moments surrounding his death have been released. During this week's trial of Derek Chauvin, the Minneapolis police officer facing charges of second-degree murder, third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter in Floyd's May 25, 2020, death. Jurors and the nation were shown nearly an hour of body cam footage from former policeman Thomas Lane and Two Thou. Fox Report. Georgia teen fatally shot during target practice with friends. Officials. The high school senior in Georgia was fatally shot while hanging with pals in a backyard, where investigators believe they were doing target practice, sheriff officials said. Candace Curzan. A 17-year-old who attended Mount Zion High School in Jonesboro, died late Tuesday after being shot at the home in Mount Zion, according to the Carroll County Sheriff's Office. This remains an open and active investigation and all parties involved in this horrific tragedy are cooperating at this time, the office said in a statement Wednesday. BBC Report. Jordan arrests. Official and royal arrested for security reasons. Basim Awadala a former finance minister, and Sharif Hassan bin Zaid, a royal, were detained. However, the official Petra News Agency denied reports that the kingdom's former crown prince had been arrested. Such arrests are rare in Jordan, a key U.S. ally in the Middle East. Petra said the former crown prince Hamza bin Hussein, the oldest son of the late King Hussein and Queen Noor, was not subject to any restrictions. Al Jazeera Report U.S. Georgia governor slams MLB for relocating All-Star Game. The Republican governor of the U.S. state of Georgia has slammed Major League Baseball, MLB, after the league announced it would relocate this year's All-Star Game and MLB draft over the state's new restrictive voting law. Signed late last month, the legislation disproportionately disenfranchises black voters in Georgia, which has a history of racial discrimination, and it has drawn widespread rebuke from local communities. Rights advocates legislators and companies. CNN Report. Reports, footage of Tigre executions are, deeply disturbing, U.S. Senator says after CNN investigation. U.S. Sen. Chris Coons calls, deeply disturbing, reports and footage of executions in Ethiopia's Tigre region. New reports and footage emerging from Tigre of extrajudicial killings, murders of civilians, sexual and gender-based violence and forced displacement are deeply disturbing. Coons, a Delaware Democrat, tweeted Saturday. His comments come after a CNN investigation found that men wearing Ethiopian army uniforms executed unarmed men in Tigray. Fox Report. France urges Iran to avoid nuclear escalation ahead of talks. Paris. France's top diplomat spoke with his Iranian counterpart Saturday and urged Iran to be constructive, and avoid further nuclear escalation ahead of talks next week aimed at trying to salvage a global accord curbing the Iranian nuclear program. The United States and Iran said Friday they will begin indirect negotiations next week, in one of the first signs of progress in efforts to try to get both countries back into compliance with the 2015 accord. Deutsche Well report. Thousands rally against UK plans to limit protests. London police on Saturday detained several protesters at a rally against proposed legislation that would put new restrictions on public protests. Officials said a small minority of the marchers had blocked the road at the city's Parliament Square. They are not social distancing and are putting people in danger of spreading the COVID virus, the police said on Twitter.
The majority have left and we urge those remaining to listen to officers and leave the area now. CNN Report Seattle Police to Remove Concrete Barriers Around Precinct That Was Temporarily Vacated During George Floyd Protests The Seattle Police Department has announced plans to remove concrete barriers around the East Precinct, the center of the city's Capitol Hill occupation protest, CHOP, area last summer. The concrete barrier will be removed and temporarily replaced with a fence. According to a press release from Seattle Police, broken windows are being replaced and will be covered temporarily with plywood, police said. Al Jazeera report. Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan launch new Nile Dam talks in DRC. A new round of African Union-mediated talks between Ethiopia, Egypt and Sudan has begun aimed at resolving a years-long dispute over a massive dam built by Addis Ababa on the Blue Nile, a main tributary of the Nile River. The three-day talks that kicked off on Saturday are taking place in Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The current chair of the O. Foreign and irrigation ministers of the three nations were attending the talks over the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, along with O experts, according to Ethiopia's irrigation minister Seleshi Bekel. CNN report. Conflicting reports emerge in Nigeria over video of downed plane. Conflicting reports have emerged in Nigeria over a video of a downed plane. After the country's air force disputed claims from Boko Haram that its militants shot down a jet, the Nigerian Air Force, NAF, strongly questioned the authenticity of the Boko Haram clip which purports to show fighters shooting at the military plane, eventually causing it to fall to the ground. The NAF suggested that the crash was due to an air accident. BBC report. Spain drug bust. Speedboat smugglers, arrested. In raids across southern Spain and in France, some 5,270 kilograms of cannabis was found. The suspects transported the drugs inland using Spain's Guadalquivir River, then disguised them in fruit trucks to drive towards France. They would then allegedly supply dealers across Europe. Some 5,040 kilograms of hashish, resin, and 230 kilograms of marijuana, weed, were located. Police said the extensive organized crime network had a powerful infrastructure to carry out criminal work all over the Andalusia coast. And there was even a dedicated team to ensure the speedboats were always fueled up and ready to go. Deutsche Well Report. Golden Parade. Mummified pharaohs moved to new Cairo home. Egypt transported the mummified remains of 22 pharaohs to a new museum in a special procession through the streets of the capital Cairo on Saturday. Dubbed the pharaohs Golden Parade. The 18 kings and four other royals were moved seven kilometers, four miles, from the Egyptian Museum to the new National Museum of Egyptian Civilization. The whole world will be watching. Egyptian archaeologist and former antiquities minister Zahi Hawass said ahead of the event, which was streamed live on state television. BBC Report. Graffiti art defaced by spectators at South Korea Gallery. They thought they were allowed to do that as participatory art and made a mistake. The head of the exhibition in Seoul told Reuters news agency. After staff spotted fresh brushstrokes CCTV footage identified the accidental vandals. A man and woman in their 20s. The untitled piece is estimated to be worth about $500,000, £360,000. It was painted by U.S. graffiti artist John Wan in front of an audience in Seoul in 2016. Deutsche Well Report. Coronavirus Digest. Over 10 million vaccinated in Germany. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said on Friday that the number of people who have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine stood at 101.8 million, which is about a third of the U.S. population. Nearly 58 million of those people are fully vaccinated, according to CDC data. The CDC also updated its guidelines to say that vaccinated people can travel without observing quarantine but should continue to wear masks. Al Jazeera report. Somalia. Suicide bomber kills five in Mogadishu tea shop attack. Five civilians, including a child, have been killed when a suicide bomber detonated himself at a tea shop in Somalia's capital, Mogadishu, according to police, around 7 p.m., 16. OO, G, M, T, in the evening. A suicide bomber detonated himself at a tea shop frequented by the youth, 
Police spokesman Sadiq Dudishe said in a statement on Saturday. Six people. Four of them youth. A child. And the suicide bomber died in the blast. Thank you for watching 5 p.m. recap. To be notified, you can subscribe our channel and activate the bell.